Ladies and gentlemen, today we have another package from Backwoods BMP. I'm always excited when I get a package from Backwoods BMP because for one, the sled's gonna be more durable, it's gonna have more protection, whatever it might be. Uh, for two, it's gonna look way cooler than it already does. So today we got the big wheel kit. If you guys saw my last YouTube video, you saw that I picked up a 600 Axis as like a backup sled, a uh, sled for guests to ride when they come over, and uh, my wife Sammy's gonna be on this sled a lot this season, and I've actually already been on it once, uh, obviously in the last video, and I'm gonna give it a second life. So this sled has been stock since day one. It just had a wrap on it, so I, picked, I took that off, and we got a new wrap coming for it, along with a bunch of other goodies. And uh, why not, it's just kind of fun. Everybody always builds out brand new sleds and I got this and I was like, kind of thinking it'd be fun to, to pimp out a 600 axis. So far we have the Backwoods BMP spindles up here along with the Backwoods rail braces in ghost gray. Uh, we got front and rear bumpers for it. And once the wrap comes, we'll get the seat cover on and we got some handlebars coming for this guy. It's gonna be pretty tricked out. So, needless to say, the ghost gray wheels are gonna be put right back here on this sled. I'm excited to get some, not on the Milwaukee pack out, <laughs> but it's gonna be back here, so we're gonna have more gray in the skid, kinda um, brighten it up a little bit down there. And then, I guess this is kind of a sneak peek for my boost build, but I just got word that my 24 boost has arrived at Alpine Motorsports in Kremlin, Colorado. So at the end of the month, I'm gonna head over to Colorado, pick up the sled, and start building that out. And we also have some other goodies for that same sled. I've been working with Backwoods now for a few years and love the guys over there. They're super cool guys up in Maine. And pumped to be working with them again um, this year. I would highly recommend if you're looking for parts, bumpers, spindles, anything for your sled, I'll put the link to their website in the description. Uh, so you can go pimp out your sled as well. I'll be putting these on the 600 today, and I've never installed big wheels before, so we're gonna kind of be learning this together. But this may help you if you ordered some wheels and wanna put them on. So I've never actually had a big wheel kit. Uh, from what I've heard is there's an expanded pivot point. Um, so for wheelies, hopovers, stuff like that, you kind of have more of a surface area, and then less rolling resistance around the track. They're built way stronger. Um, I've heard that you can reverse a little easier with the big wheels and um, most importantly, they look sweet. I can't wait to get them on. Add a little bit more bling down there on the skid. All right, so first thing you're gonna wanna do is get the track off the ground. So I got it hoisted up there to the ceiling and then we're gonna loosen the track by loosening these bolts on each side. Okay, so got those loose with a 10 millimeter and then this is a 16 millimeter bolt. We're just gonna loosen this. All right, so I got the bolt off the other side and now I'm just kind of pushing this out. I use the back end of a hammer to kind of pull this out. And by the way, I don't consider myself a snowmobile mechanic. Um, so there may be, there definitely may be an easier way to do this, but this is how I'm getting it to work. flying everywhere. And while I was pulling this off, I just noticed this, but this idler is pretty chewed up. I've also heard of people going across like a meadow in a wheelie or something, hitting something and having these taco and fold in half. So I guess it's good that we're preventing that from happening. Look at how much cooler <laughs> these ones are gonna look. Okay, so this is the shaft for the big wheel kits, and 
I sent a Snapchat to some of my buddies and I told them that Backwoods started to make bathroom accessories and that this was a toilet paper holder. <laughs> I don't think they bought it. Okay, so we got the shaft in the middle of the wheels and then these pieces on the outside and the bolts through either side. Just gonna tighten that up with a 17 millimeter. Okay, tightened up. So these bolts go towards the front of the sled and this sits back towards the back of the rail. You could also take the skid out of the sled to do this, um, but I've seen guys do it with the skid still in the track, so I'm gonna try it that way. We got Joey here helping install the big wheels. He approves. Got a good spot there. So what I was trying to do there was to get this rectangle to seat in to this piece here. So now when I look through here, that piece is flush up against the rail like it should be. Now to get this side. Okay, with a little finessing, I got that one flush too. The little rectangle is sitting in the hole there and look at how sweet these are looking i love it so now i just need to loosen these a little bit so i can set the track tension to where i need it and then we'll be good to rock and roll okay so now i'm setting the track tension so a good tip to know if you have good track tension is put a 10 pound weight on the track and then measure 16 inches back from the axle of the wheels so 16 inches about in here and you're gonna want a half inch gap hanging down which is what I have right there and then check the other side I already checked it and it's a uh, it's half inch on both sides and then another important thing is you want to make sure that your tensioners are equal length. Kind of hard to see in there, but that one's set at two, right at two inches, and I just checked the other side, and it's also right at two inches. So once you get all that even and right, then you're going to uh, tighten these bolts on the tensioner, and then also make sure these are snug, and then you're good to go. I'm gonna give her some wraps to make sure everything's aligned and running smooth, and that's all there is to it. beautiful smell of two stroke. All right guys, thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That really helps me out and we'll catch you on the next one.